Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to do a review of the SR6012 Marantz. I have it currently on loan from Soundworld, so sit back, relax, enjoy the show. Let's get to it. So before we get to the review, uh, I'd like to say a special shout out to Soundworld for uh, letting me uh, have the Marantz for over, a little over a week. Um, that's what their program goes for. And um, if you're new to my channel, hit that uh, subscribe button, tap that bell notification so when new videos come about, you are notified. So let's get to the review. So I decided to put my projector up and show you a more visual uh, aspect of the features and the specifications. Um, <clears throat> this is the front face of the uh, Marantz SR6012. And uh, I'll make my way down here. And uh, as you can see, they're uh, talking about the heels and the whole house system. Um, like I said, it may or may not work on uh, old, older homes. Newer homes, yeah, it'll probably work pretty well. Um, especially under uh, new construction where you could just put it in right away. But for the most part, Heels does your internet radio systems like iHeartRadio, Pandora, um, I, iTunes maybe, um, AirPlay, Apple AirPlay, it does that too. <clears throat> it does support Spotify, that's the one I per primarily use. Um, let's keep going down the list here. So you got your key features and on your, well, I'm sorry. All right, key features here, it's just the stating as uh, you got DTSX, Dolby Atmos, um, use a two-channel amplifier to achieve that uh, 7.1.4 or 7.2.4 uh, aspect ratio. Um, <clears throat> it is an eco-friendly uh, receiver, so it's good on energy. Uh, you have your ARC, you have... Um, uh, here you got your uh, Odyssey uh, Multi-Q, uh, very good uh, stuff to use for your room calibrations. Uh, let's see, I'll leave it, sit here for a little bit if you want to uh, pause it and just see the key features of this receiver. So keep going down here. Like I said, pause any time um, as to uh, so you can see it and read it better. Like I said, it's eco mode. It's uh, has HDR, Dolby Vision, HLG, and it is uh, HDCP 2.2 compa uh, compatible. Uh, latest 4K connectivity, which you see down here, way at the bottom here, you got the HD HDMI and everything else to go with it, <clears throat> along as with the uh, ISF. <clears throat> Here you got also your Dolby Atmos and your DTS-X. Gives a little bit of uh, <clears throat> uh, information as to what those represent. Keep going down here. Like I said, it's Wi-Fi, it's Bluetooth, AirPlay, and Spotify. Spotify is good. I like that one. And then here it's just kind of showing you what the Heos does. You can put a, a uh, Bluetooth speaker uh, throughout your room of your house and uh, distribute the music play that way. <clears throat> so I did uh, state earlier, no, no actually I did state earlier that uh, it wasn't going to have Alexa, but it's going to have an update in September, so Alexa will be applied to this receiver, so you'll be able to use the Alexa uh, capabilities for those who are uh, wanting those special, uh, special features. 
You got your high res audio. You got the AV uh, AVR remote app, which is available on uh, iOS and Android phones. I believe it's twenty five dollars for the feed, so you can go in there and monkey around with your. Uh, uh, well, this particular app, I'm sorry, is free, but the uh, Odyssey app, you have to pay for that. That's about 25 bucks. <clears throat> so here's the other thing it's talking about the uh, Odyssey uh, Multi-Q XT32 that thing is a wonderful wonderful uh, room collaboration <clears throat> next to um, ARC is what uh, I believe Anthem uses and then there's another one uh, uh, Durac or Direct I don't know how they say it and that's with usually with NAD and Emotiva's receivers And again, here it's just stating the showing that you can uh, do this with your uh, phone and go in there and just curve it the way you want it. You got your 12 volt triggers, you got your in out uh, remote, um, and crushed on. On the next clip here, we're going to be going into your uh, specifications, so we'll get to that. There you go. So here's all your specification as to uh, what entails 11.2 um, <clears throat> pre-outs. It has everything um, as to what it provides into your receiver. Like I said right here, uh, Odyssey, or no, I'm sorry, uh, Oral 3D is not in this receiver. On this slide, I'm just showing you what the uh, visual looks of the receiver itself. Uh, we have the front face uh, of the receiver here, nice curved design, as you can see. Um, brushed aluminum uh, feel. You got the input dial here. You have your uh, power button here and you have your uh, volume knob here. Another little extra view on the corner. And if you see this price tag, that is not the current price. The price is $8.99 now. <clears throat> so up in here, you have your uh, MHL, you have your eighth um, HDMI slot, you got a section where you can hook up your camcorder, you got this input here for the Odyssey XT, XT32 and your headphone jack. And then here you can do your sound decodes and everything else that you want to go uh, with uh, what you're watching, movies, music, so forth. So on the back here of the receiver, we have all your uh, banana plug jacks right here, all 9.2 channels of it, uh, including your heights. You got a plug here that's detachable, so that way it's easy for installation. Also up here, you got a zone two out. You have your ARC for your TV monitors, and then you have a 4K UHD uh, HDCP 2.2 uh, HDMI port here. All these HDMI heaters, all seven of them, they are uh, HDCP 2.2 compliant. 
And also you have, not if I can find it. <laughs> you have a phone jack. And also for those uh, who want to use a turntable. And uh, let's see, we have an RS-232, your 12 volt trigger, and your IR, IR blaster. So with that, I'll uh, hit you up on the remote here. See, so you can enlarge it. All right. So on your remote, you got here in the center, you got your, your setup, you have your uh, option, your info, and your back key. As we go up further here, as you can see, we have all your, um, uh, let's see, we have your on off switch, your uh, button to select to keep on the remote so you can use the receiver that way. Um, you have your zone two, and also you have all your, uh, sorry about that, uh, media choices as to what you want to use for Blu-ray, uh, media player, and such. Moving on down, here's your up and down volume keys, and also your uh, page on and up. This is for all the usage for your uh, navigations for your uh, controls for the setup. And as you can see here, uh, you have uh, your uh, smart selects. Um, play, pause, fast forward, rewind. Whoop. Sorry about that, guys. I got off page there. And down at also at the bottom, <clears throat> you have your sound, it has your sound modes for uh, movie, music, games, and pure. I believe pure is for pure direct. And that will do it for the remote. I'm going to go back to the back of the receiver here in case if you guys didn't get a chance to see a good look. And I will expand that a little bit more. So once again, you have your, uh, your Zone 2, your ARC, and your 4K UHD. And then as you can see all here, you have uh, 1 through 7 for your HDMIs. You have your remote flasher, RS-232, and your 12-volt uh, trigger. Also on this receiver, you're going to have uh, sections for your antennas for your Wi-Fi, both left and right in the upper corners. And for you uh, uh, turntable people, like I said, there's a phone jack as well. As we move over, here is all your uh, pre-outs for your 11.2 uh, 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 AmpaSign feature, which uh, is nice that it does process for 11.2 uh, with an additional ampli amplifier. And uh, you could do your 7.1.4 plus your 7.2.4. Do subwoofers, very nice. You could also split that too uh, to have more subwoofers with a uh, subwoofer uh, splitter. And here again, I'll show you. Here's the uh, AC jack. And right here is all your uh, speaker uh, jacks, banana plugs. Said all. 9.2 channels of it. So with this, this will conclude our review of the SR6012 Marantz receiver. Uh, like I said, 
excellent receiver overall. Uh, for me, it's not for what I want to do. Um, I'm probably going to be looking at the pre pros, the uh, uh, AV7704 or the uh, 8805, I believe is what they're called. Um, that's just because my personal taste. I had the 7704 before I had the uh, SR6012, and I just liked that better, um, cleaner, did things a little bit more, uh, more processing, a little bit more better. Uh, with this one here, he, like I said, he got a 9.2 uh, channel uh, amplification receiver. A um, little cheaper. It's uh, currently, I believe, it's 8.99. Um, and the new one out there, I believe it's the 6013. Uh, that one is going for uh, $14.99, I believe, uh, which already has Alexa capabilities inside of it um, if you are looking for that specific feature. Um, like I said, on the other ones I were using, uh, that has Oral 3D all inside of it, so uh, that's pretty nice. Uh, downside, yeah, it's $2,200, but to me, that's worth it because I think you're just you're you're getting um, the the sound formats that you're looking for, and it's precise. It's what it's for. It's uh, without any amplification uh, done with it, and uh, it just it's overall nice. But this unit here too, for those who want to spend eight ninety nine or a little uh, a little more. Uh, it's the right thing for you. Um, like I said, it does 11.2 processing. I know the Denons do that as well because um, I know they're in the same family with the Sound United too. So, excuse me. So, if if that's what you're you're looking for, uh, this would be a perfect fit for you if you want to uh, keep the cost down and get your full uh, setup of the Atmos and DTSX. So. I hope you enjoy this review that we've done today and uh, give it two thumbs up if you like it, two thumbs down if you don't. Hey, I'm okay with that. And uh, leave comments down below and, um, you know, like, subscribe, and share. Love to hear from you, the viewer, of what you like and uh, what you want me to try and review in the future. So have a great day and keep watching.